Hi guys! So as you can tell by my unmade up face, today we're going to do a different type of video where one half of my face is going to have makeup and one doesn't. I was tagged to do the power of makeup challenge by my friend Bunny Graveyard Girl here on YouTube. So let's get started with that. Girl, we got to get these baby hair bangs out of my face first and put some primer on half of the face that we're going to put makeup on. I decided to do it on the side of my face that's more prominently my makeup applying right hand. I put Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in creases because I cannot find a face primer that doesn't make me break out. Now this challenge is going to show you the difference between makeup and not makeup and how okay I am with looking like my natural self that my mother pushed out. Speaking of the makeups, this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Love it. It's going to look a little bit pink on my neck area. Honestly, I only put on makeup if it's for a special occasion, if I want to look presentable for other humans, if I want a little boost of confidence, but usually I just don't care and go outside. And this is really going to show you the difference of makeup and not makeup and how you should like both sides of it. You don't have to wear makeup to look beautiful. It's all how you feel, not how you look. I don't know, maybe my neck and my chest area is just like vampire white and the face is just like doll face white. I don't know the difference, but you could definitely tell which side's which on my neck and chest area with this. And then I'm getting some orange concealer to cancel out blueness under the eyes. That's the only thing that is a little slightly odd with my natural face because sometimes I could look like I got punched in the eye. Actually, when I film this, speaking of punch in the eye, I have terrible allergies while I'm filming this. And it's so sad that I feel like giving excuses while I'm filming this and my voice is nasally and I'm not sick, it's because of these allergies. And I feel like I have to give so many excuses on how I look like and I feel like I shouldn't have to because I feel like women shouldn't have to give excuses on why they look like this. Some people are going to ask me and they ask me in person, are you sick? What's wrong with you? Your eyes are swollen, you have bags on your eyes. And I'm like, this is just me today. Let's deal with it together. And then I'm using a regular skin tone concealer on top of that because I do go concealer happy when I'm doing a full face of makeup. And I'm doing some major highlighter of a lighter concealer under the eye as well. Beauty blenders is like a key magic thing. I'm gonna go ham on this makeup because I really want it to look like some magical fairy Disney princess in real life. That's what I try to achieve with a very full face of makeup like if I was myself, but in a storybook instead of a Disney fantasy world, like what would the perfect fantasy princess look like naturally? Does she look like this naturally? I don't know. We're gonna see if we get there. Contouring is such a fad and I am not into the brown contouring as much as I am into the shadow contouring of some more taupe colors. Taupe meaning it has little slight tints of gray in it. So I'm getting a more gray tone cream color first. That beauty blender though, it's like, an airbrush filter on Instagram, I swear. More concealer because I feel like it's excessive, especially when I'm looking at my natural side doing this. It's so crazy. Setting that with Bessemé vanilla powder because it smells like vanilla cupcake icing and it just feels like a dream on your face and doesn't get cakey. A slight dust of translucent powder. I feel like I'm baking a cake. That's what they say on phrases of putting makeup on your face nowadays. I don't understand it. But yeah, I'm doing translucent powder on top of the liquid so I could set it and it won't smear the other makeups on your face. Does that explain anything? This kind of makes me appreciate the natural side more because it's so much to make me look like this that I don't even look real, even at this stage. I told you people are contour happy and that includes me just a little bit in this video. I am doing a slight lighter brown contour on top of the gray tone to make it look more taupe and natural hopefully. I say natural but none of this is natural while I'm watching it. Don't forget the socket of your eye. Then I'm getting a brow pencil to frame out those brows. I say frame out because thank goodness I'm slightly blessed with a little bit of brow, but I like to make it more va va voom. Make it look like they really are growing in thicker than they are. Setting that with some clear eyebrow gel. Putting some eyeshadow primer on first. Then I'm using one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Rainforest After Dark Tarte palette. This gold color is just like magic, one of my favorites. I love doing bronze gold eyeshadows with a red lip, so that's what I'm going to do here. Putting that gold shadow in the center of my eyelid and towards the inner corner. Then I'm getting one of my absolute favorite holographic eyeshadows from Buxom. This is like a blue, purple, and brown all in one. 
I don't know how look with gold, but we're gonna do it because it's like one of my absolute favorite colors lately. In the outer corner of my eye, I'm gonna apply that there. Kind of saturate it and buff it in. And a little bit on the inner corner as well, so it's kind of like a halo effect. Getting some more of that bronzer to use as a transition from the eyeshadow colors to your bare skin on that brow bone. More brown eyeshadow to use as a light liner shade. in on the bottom lash line. Then getting the NYX 2 Timer Eyeliner and using the felt tip to do a cat eye wing. Patting in a more saturated color of that buxom eyeshadow. I feel like with the eyeshadows and the contour shades and transitions that it's like we want our face to look more hollow and sunken in than it is, but everybody wants to look youthful at the same time. It's a weird concept. Curling your natural eyelashes and crimping them into a weird shape so that I could put some fake hairs onto my eyelashes. That sounds very odd when I think about it. I feel like I'm being really critical of myself, but it's just so weird looking at your natural side right next to your very glammed out makeup side of your face. Put in some blush on. But we need some highlighter though. This is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop one because, I mean, it's everything. Then the classic red lip. I'm gonna line that side of the lip first and then fill it in. I think I look just as good without makeup. The older I get, the more I love just going outside, having fun with no makeup on. You can rub your face, rub your eyes without worrying of messing anything up on your face. Splash water on your face. Rub your forehead without worrying about foundation getting all over you or someone else. Taking our hair down and making sure it looks semi-nice and fancy. And that is our finished, well, half-finished makeup look. Thank you so much to my friend Bunny for tagging me in this Power of Makeup Challenge and for Nikki Tutorials who created this makeup challenge. And it's just so insane to see yourself like this, half natural, half very made up. I feel like makeup is a fun thing to do, but you should really feel comfortable in your own skin. And I know a lot of girls have insecurities and they feel like they need makeup every day. Everybody has flaws that they don't like about themselves, but they also have flaws that they do love about themselves. And I think just embracing those and just using makeup for fun instead of a necessity, if you could do that, oh my gosh, girl, you're a set for life, in my opinion. I just hope that this encourages you guys to go outside without makeup if you do makeup every day or just have fun with makeup, but you don't always have to depend on it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you soon. Bye.